is a Penny P. Packer, and I am here today from the Mathematics Institute of Higher Learning. And today, I want to teach you one of the greatest skills I can show you on how to multiply those bigger numbers. So, come with me to my magic whiteboard here, and I am going to show you how to multiply big numbers, such as something like this. Now, you get something like this, and it says, 59 times 6. Now, that's a big number. But I'm going to show you real quickly how we can do that really simply, okay? So, we have a 59 times 6. I like to call that a 2 by 1. We have a 2-digit number by a 1-digit number. So, let's take a look at that. I am going to make a box like this. Now, I need to divide this into 2 because it's a 2 by 1. 2 by 1. And I'm going to put a plus sign there and a multiplication sign there. Now, 59, I'm going to put that into expanded notation, which is going to be 50 and the ones digit of 9. We're going to take our multiplier of 6 and put that right over there. And now, we'll take 9 times 6 and put that right there. And now, 9 times 6 could be tough. You could break that down. But in this case, 9 times 6 is 54. I'll put that right there. And now, how many zeros are in this number? One. No zeros there, so we put that one zero down. And now it is 5 times 6. Aha, yes. 30. 300 plus 54. 59 times 6 equals 354. Now that's not too bad. Come back in a moment, and I'll show you an even bigger one. I bet they're almost back. I'll help them here. Help me. Oh, hello. Hello. A Penny P. Packer here again for number two. As you can see, 1,643 times eight. Now, that is quite a bit bigger than the other one. I will call this a four by one. We have a four digit number by a one digit number. Let's see if we can set that up. I will make my rectangle box. And now I have to divide that into four sections because there are four digits. Just like that. And every time you divide it, you put a plus symbol right here. And at the corner, a multiplication symbol. Our multiplier is 8, so we're going to put that right over here. Now, we have to do expanded notation for 1,643. In the thousands column, we have 1,000. In our hundreds, we have a 6, which represents 600. In our tens column, a 4 represents 40. And in our ones, a 3. Now, we start off here, 3 times 8. 3 times 8 is 24. Now, we look at this, we look at this, the multiplier. How many zeros are there? Yes, there's one zero. So we put her down. Now, 4 times 8 is 32. And we have 320. Moving to the hundreds column. How many zeros do you see? <laughs> I see two zeros. So I will put them down. Six times eight is 48. And in our last one, remember, how many zeros do you see? I see three zeros. And one times eight is eight. Now. What we have to do is add them together. So we have 8,000 plus 4,800 plus 320 plus 24. Very important, everyone, to keep our place values in the right spot. Let's do some adding, and you'll see how easy it is. Zero plus four is four. 
Two and two is four. Three and eight. Oh, that's 11. Put that down, carry that up. Eight and one is nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. And our answer to 1,643 times eight is 13,144. And there you have bigger multiplication. Enjoy your day and I am Penny P. Packer here from the Multiplication Institute of Technology. And we'll see you real soon. I can do anything, I can reach any goal.